Hello and welcome to another video and at this one we are going to be looking to uh, death markers uh, which is a uh, part of the uh, recent uh, new release uh, of uh, Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. Uh, so if we go to uh, our options uh, menu now we can see that we have a, a new option here for death markers and if we uh, open this up um, then uh, this gives you uh, the death markers which you can have uh, for the various uh, enemy types that you can see down the left hand side here. We've got a default um, one which is uh, blood red um, and then we've got all these different ones that we can select uh, different uh, types for. And at the bottom here we've got modify marker set. So if we click on this first of all and this now gives you um, an insight as to what all the various blood markers have. So you can see that um, in each of these you've got a variety of different uh, sort of splatter uh, icons and one of these will be chosen randomly. Uh, so uh, uh, they're all pretty much the, the, the same types, they're just different colours. Um, and if we keep scrolling down, then down the bottom we also have uh, skulls, uh, either round or square, and we have tombstones, uh, either uh, round or square. Um, now we can change the colour of uh, any of these. Um, this one here is a uh, blood black, but if we uh, click on the tint button here, then we can change that to any colour we like. If we wanted it to be, I don't know, uh, this horrible yellow colour or whatever, um, then you could uh, make it uh, to that. So you, really you can just uh, click on these and you can change that to uh, any colour you, you like. We'll cancel that to leave it at black. Uh, so you've got the option here to change any of these. Uh, obviously these ones are pretty good the way they are. You can just change slightly the different colours. These ones are just square, but you can also tint these too. So if we wanted to change the square ones here to, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, blue, um, then we can uh, do that. Uh, we could uh, change this one to something else, maybe a uh, red, whatever. So you can change the colours uh, to any of these uh, different sets of uh, markers. And then down here, as I say, we've got this uh, blood red uh, default. So let's um, just show you how uh, all of this works. Um, so we've got uh, a map here. Uh, we'll get our uh, combat tracker up as well and um, we've uh, got Bob and Jane here have got themselves into a, a bit of a situation with regards to uh, being surrounded by lots of enemies. Um, so it's uh, Bob's go so we're just going to um, drop some damage onto this uh, character here and we can see that we have uh, killed it. And when we delete it from the combat tracker, we can now see that it's got uh, a blood splat. Um, so this is uh, the default. <clears throat> it's uh, red. Uh, and uh, it's chosen one of these uh, markers that we see here uh, from uh, that one there, actually. Uh, so it's just chosen randomly one of these uh, markers here. So let's change up some of these uh, uh, markers here. We've got, uh, let's say, undead. So this character here, this Ash Zombie, is undead. So we can uh, choose from this list here and decide what uh, marker we're going to uh, have uh, for undead uh, creatures. Um, so let's say, I don't know, let's say we want violet blood for undead creatures. Um, so if uh, Bob was to do some damage to this thing now um, and kill it uh, and we remove it, we've now got uh, our violet uh, blood uh, and this is uh, this here and it's chosen uh, that one as you can see. So these are leaving markers uh, dependent on what uh, you choose here. Uh, we've got a, a beast, uh, so let's maybe make the... Um, let's choose this one for the uh, which ones did we change again uh, let's change that to tombstone square um, uh, let's do some damage to the giant spider um, and then when it's dead it's going to give us this uh, tombstone in the color that we chose and then we've got a hobgoblin here which is a humanoid so let's change the humanoid one and we'll give it um, 
uh, tombstone uh, square. I think, uh, yes, I chose tombstone round there. Um, and let's do some damage to it. Uh, and we've killed it and there we have our tombstone uh, coming up so um that's uh, really in essence how it all you can change all, all of these if you like if you want uh, celestials to whatever um and the, you can uh, change the the different colors to uh, whatever you uh, like in here and once the creature is dead then it will leave uh, a marker on the uh, uh, table here now if we have a look um, if we unlock the map you can see that the death markers have actually gone on to its own, their own separate layer and if you look up in the top here um, on this little symbol you've got clear death markers so you can click that or the dm can click that um, and that will remove all the death markers uh, or you can also uh, just uh, click this here and delete this layer uh, if we can actually uh, see this uh, here, uh, death markers, and delete the layer, and it removes all the death markers. It does exactly the same as there. So the two methods to get rid of them, um, you can uh, choose whichever one you want. Obviously, that's the easier one to to achieve. Uh, so that's uh, death markers in essence. Um, the uh, one thing that um, this is uh, kind of universal, so this will work for any of your campaigns once you set this up um, in any campaign, then it uh, kind of works for th any campaign. Uh, and if you change it in one campaign, then it changes it for uh, all the campaigns. Uh, I think I'm right in saying that because it's a, it's kind of a universal thing rather than on a per campaign uh, level. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers for now.